All right, hey guys, Lamar back out here at Air, uh, Bear Creek Arsenal today. And today we're gonna talk just a little bit on showing you how to remove and install a muzzle device from your AR rifle. Okay, there are plenty of different types of muzzle devices out there and not all of them are going to install the same way. Okay, you're gonna have a couple of different options out there. So make sure you're checking with the manufacturer of the muzzle device that you're getting you know, what their specifications are on the in proper install of their product. Okay, but based on what we sell here at Bear Creek Arsenal, uh, this is how you negotiate either one of the two options that we have. We have either the standard A2 style flash hider or we have our spiral cut flash hiders, okay? Now, one of these needs to be timed when it's put on, so there is no real torque settings to that. Uh, it's just when you get it into the proper place, it should be tight. Uh, the other one does not need to be timed. So there is no top, there is no bottom, left, right. It doesn't matter. It's all the same, right? So this one, you can torque down to a given setting if you want to. We don't have a specific one here for our spiral flash hiders. But if you want to develop what you feel comfortable with on the front of your rifle, you're all good there. So starting off, if you're got a factory new upper and you want to take it down you want to put your own little spin on it right the easiest thing to do is the flash hider okay that's the first place that you can start to put your own spin on your upper assembly from our perspective here at bear creek arsenal with this 16 inch upper that i have here i can take the flash hider off without taking off the handguard uh, because the handguard does stop short of the threads on the barrel but just to be safe, I always take the handguard off my uppers first. Uh, so that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do to right now. Got the uh, T25 Torx wrench here for the screws that come in this particular handguard. You may need a 1 8 hex bit for these screws depending on what you've got. So remember that T25 Torx or a 1 8 hex for the handguard screws. And this particular one's got our new style of handguard on it. So it's got eight screws in it. All right, now that I've got my handguard off, you know, you can see here I've exposed the barrel. This may look a little funny to some of you out there. This happens to be one of our 22 LR uppers. Uh, so as you can see, there's no gas block gas tube here because it's a direct blowback system. So that's why you see some missing parts than what you may be used to. Uh, here in front of me, I have a, you know, just a, a variation of an armorer's wrench. All right, there's a hundred of these out there on the market. If you want to use one of these, that's great. Uh, they usually have some universal cuts in them that work mostly throughout the industry. So if you don't want to go out and try to order one of these, our flash hiders here at Bear Creek Arsenal are either going to use a 19 millimeter wrench or a 24 millimeter wrench if you've got one of the big 450 uh, muzzle brakes on there. So for this one, it's just a 19 millimeter wrench. This one, this armor's wrench is cut a little bit differently. Uh, but the big side of it here does fit our flash hiders. Our flash hiders screw on any standard threading. All right, so the old adage goes lefty loosey, righty tighty. So left is counterclockwise, so I'm gonna start spinning that counterclockwise, and then it just spins right off the front of the barrel. With the A2 flash hiders, they have to be timed, so you'll see a crush washer on the front of this barrel as well. The crush washer can be a little difficult to get off, okay? because it does exactly what it's called. When you put it on there in that flash hider and you get it timed up right, that crush washer compresses or crushes and gives you that cushion to be able to get that device timed up to where it needs to be. When you crush them down, they will come out of round and they can be a little difficult to get off. What I do is I just take a pair of vice grips, lock onto it, like so, being careful of the barrel threads themselves. All right. And then once it bites into the thread, the crush washer is softer than the threads on the barrel, so you're not gonna do any damage to the threads by doing this. Uh, and then it just kind of bites on there, and then you can just thread it right off the front of the barrel too. Voila. All right. And then again, depending on the type of muzzle device that you're installing, okay, is what you're gonna do next. If you have one, like the A2 flash hiders that needs to be timed, then you're gonna to wanna to use another crush washer. And every time you change your muzzle device, you're gonna to wanna to put a brand new crush washer on there, okay? Because once that thing's been compressed, it's not gonna spring back out and give you that same cushion again, okay? So just keep that in mind. 
if you're using a flash hider that needs to be timed, you're going to want to put a crush washer on there. If you're using one that doesn't need to be timed, the crush washer is optional at that point. Uh, I know people that build, they'll put a crush washer on there, even with these spiral type flash hiders, they'll screw it on there and they use that crush washer as sort of a cushion to be able to keep extra pressure on the threads just so it doesn't back off. If that's the way you feel, that's fine and dandy. There's nothing wrong with doing that. I myself, I just screw them straight on without the, the crush washer on there so that we can just rock and roll. I snug it down to my comfort level and that's about it. So putting this back on, since this one needs to be timed, this is the one I'm gonna demonstrate with, okay? Again, the same thing, righty tighty, lefty loosey. So right on this is clockwise. So I just screw it on by hand until it gets tight and I can't turn it anymore. So if you'll notice now, it's not timed upright, okay? On these A2 flash hiders, the bird cage, if you will, it's got five slots in it, all right? So this one's pretty easy to get timed up. You just find that center slot or the third slot. That one needs to be directly at the 12 o'clock position, okay? For proper installation. So since I got the crush washer in here, that's gonna give me the room I need to be able to spin this thing around to its proper spot. So I just grab my handy dandy wrench here, and then I just simply turn it until I get it timed up to about that 12 o'clock position, okay? The crush washer, again, it has de deformed, it has done its job, and it's just that simple, guys. All right, so that's the quick down and dirty on how to change a flash hider out on the front of your AR. Go ahead and click that subscribe button. Follow us for more how-to videos so you can start making your AR and your very own. I want to tell everybody to stay safe out there and keep slinging lead.